What's up guys, it's me Sabs Gaming, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a professional looking logo for your YouTube channel, business, whatever it may be, without Photoshop. Okay, so a few days ago I made a video on how to make a professional logo with Photoshop, and I'm fully aware that a lot of people can't afford Photoshop or simply don't want to buy Photoshop. Fair enough, so I've got the perfect alternative and it is a website called Pixel. So you want to head over to Google or whatever your preferred browser is and just type in P-I-X-L-R dot com and away we go. Here we are, Pixlr.com. Really, really nice thing. So it'll take you to this page. You just scroll down. You want to hit the Pixlr Editor, not Pixlr Express. So Pixlr Editor, launch web app. You can create an account if you want. Probably ideal, like, I haven't bothered because I use Photoshop, but if you don't use Photoshop, like if Pixlr will become like your main thing, then I suggest you make an account so you can save all your all your stuff. So you'll be greeted with this as soon as you open the Pixlr editor. So like the tutorial with Photoshop, we want to go ahead and find a background. I'll pretty much recreate the logo I did with, um, on that tutorial. So we'll go with a green grunge background. Go to images. For those of you who didn't watch the other tutorial, grunge basically just adds this kind of, I guess, grungy texture. Like, if you would just get rid of the grunge, see how it's a lot smoother and all that. You can do that if you want. You can, whichever background you want. I'm, I'm not controlling this. I'm just doing this for the tutorial's sake. And we're going to go ahead and pick this one. Uh, actually, no, no, we're not going to pick that one. Okay, so I've actually gone with red because I thought I'd mix things up. If you just type in like red grunge background 1920 by 1080, it keeps things nice and simple. Um, this actually looks quite cool, the Italian flag, but anyway, we'll keep it simple. Just go with this. This looks quite nice. We will wait for it to load and then save it to the desktop. There we go. Looks really nice. I actually like that a lot. Save link, not save link. That's not correct. Right click, save image as and you can pop that on your desktop wherever you want it I'm not the boss of you and you can go ahead close that and then just go to the open image from computer navigate to your desktop and it should be sitting there right here black red grunge texture open and we've started so that looks that already looks absolutely awesome so I'm um, following the scheme of the previous tutorial we're gonna go over to this so as you can see, it looks very similar to Photoshop. It's basically just a free Photoshop. Like there are a lot of uh, editors out there, but this one's the closest to Photoshop. It's really advanced for such a good price that is free. Um, so yeah, you've got all the same sort of options. It's basically just like a, a more simplified version of Photoshop, which is almost good because it allows you to kind of get used to Photoshop. And if you like this, but you want more advanced features, then you can upgrade to Photoshop. So it's kind of like a taster. But if you go over to this little thing, the like square with a circle, that's just the drawing tool, otherwise known as the shape tool. And click over here to the circle. Remember, you can do whatever you want. I'm just kind of giving you the basic ideas and techniques to create your own logo, but I'm just basically making my own here. So I clicked over the circle and border size uh, first of all you want to untick fill because that's the style we're going for so untick the fill and border size will go with 30 let's let's see how that looks first you want to create a new layer so just click the new layer tool and you're all sweet uh, let's see not thick enough so we'll just delete that and we'll go border size this is just trial and error until you get something you're looking for um, we could probably go a bit thicker. We'll just go 55 for now. I'm, I'm not trying to make something absolutely amazing here. So there we go, 55, and then you can just click over to the mouse tool or the, the move tool, and you can just center that up however you want. And we're going to go ahead and hit the like white, the paint bucket tool. Click over here, put it to white, click on this bad boy, and boom, there we go. So that looks pretty, I mean, it, it looks alright already, but of course that's not a logo. So what we're going to do is while selected on this thing, the layer 2, you click on this bad boy, 
the little star icon, the layer styles. And this is the same as blending options on Photoshop. So if you just click on drop shadow, see how it adds a nice little shadow? Yeah. Um, so you can change the angle. We're going to go with the angle it was on pretty much. So minus 138. And we'll increase the distance just a tad. It is kind of laggy. All right. Um, so you can increase the distance, whatever look you're going for. We're going to go with that. Kind of soften it a bit with the size. Increase the opacity. And that looks pretty mad. So now we'll go with bevel because bevel gives it a kind of 3D look. And you can just mess around with that. Once again, trial and error. Do what you want. It is lagging again. There we go. Um, so you can mess around with those features. Give it a more 3D look. I like that. That's, that's the difference. See, it just adds a more professional sort of look to it. And in a glow, we can do whatever. I'm just going to go over to the color and put it over there and then change this to red. And we should be sweet. So that makes it kind of like stand out a bit with the red. And that looks awesome. So now we're going to go ahead and do the same with the text. So you hit the little A tool here, which is the text tool or type tool, whatever they call it. And go ahead and type whatever you want your logo to say. My channel's is Gaming, so the initials are MSG. So we're going to go with that. And then you can go ahead, hit Control A to highlight all the text, and you can go ahead and change that font. Um, I don't know what font I want. I think we'll go with American Captain. You may not have some of these fonts. If you want any new fonts, just go over to dafont.com. That is D-A-F-O-N-T.com, and you can find really great fonts all for free. Um, so we're going to make that a massive size, and yes... And then you're going to go ahead and hit OK. And then you've got your words. So then you can go over to Edit and Free Transform. Or you just went Control T. It would bring up the little kind of resizing mechanism. Same as Photoshop. But I have shortcuts programmed to Control T um, using Google Chrome. So you might need to mess around a bit to get that working. So basically, if you did that, you can rearrange it and make it a bigger size. And it would fit the logo a lot nicer but anyway moving on we'll go back to layer styles do the same stuff drop shadow bevel in a glow change it to red boom 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 speedy stuff speedy stuff there we go boys there we go and just uh, decrease the opacity a bit there we go so of course it looks a bit odd because the size of the text is tiny we can always go ahead and change it to me sibs gaming and that looks a tad better and you can always add angle to it but basically that's the basis of it I've given you some basic tools and techniques that will help you create your very own original unique professional logo design if you like Pixar go support them follow them on Facebook Twitter whatever they have and if you like the tutorial, please drop a like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for other tutorials, maybe like a Fundamentals of Pixlr tutorial, um, something like that, then don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. Everything covered.